Banana. Just kidding, guys. It's time to sound design. Right now, we're going to be remaking Excision and Dion Timmer's track, Time Stood Still. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> All right guys, so jumping right in here, obviously this is a pretty fucking spot on remake of the original track. And if you stay to the end of the video, there's actually these little things, these little sound design hacks that Excision and Dion Timmer used in the original track that you can start implementing today. I'm gonna to be revealing them in this video. So it's really advisable for you to stay around to the end of this video because I'm gonna be showing you it all. So your sound design can really get better today. Now, jumping right in here, there's three layers for this sound, okay? We got the bass, we got the actual main synth layer, and then we have the effects to kind of ride in the background and kind of, you know, just jump it up a little bit, the, the fullness. So this is what it sounds like on its own. Okay, and um, it sounds pretty simple, right? Well, it's there's a lot of stuff going on and let's just jump right in. So first things first, let's duplicate this and um, jump right into the main synth. Okay, now, while my serum's loading up, by the way, let me quickly say, uh, me and this producer, Nico, he's a professional producer. We started working on this thing called the Legend Songwriting Suite. It, it's a secret project so far. Uh, basically, it's designed to get you to the top, to become a legendary producer. Okay, you think about artists like Martin Garrix, San Holo, Elenium, right? All their songs, they stand out. They're at the top of the charts because for one reason, they get stuck on loop, right? They get stuck in your head and they stand out. And we created this project literally to help your music stand out. Now, anyways, if you want more information on that project and you actually want to hop on the early access list slash waiting list, go ahead and click the link in the description down below. Regardless, jumping right in here. Um, yeah, so first things first, we want to start off with a square waveform. And the reason for this is we're going to be running, surprise, surprise, frequency modulation from this square. Now, go ahead and turn on oscillator B since we are running frequency modulation and drop that level down to zero, okay? Turn on. FMB into the warp selection. Okay, I just turned around 50%. And the reason why we're doing this is because we actually want to create that same harmonic structure because, you know, we think about it from uh, when we're recreating a sound, we start off at the oscillator level. We want to get down the harmonics first, like the overall structure of the sound before we touch anything else. Because if we're missing this, it's like building uh, a fucking skyscraper on sand. It's just going to fall apart. So we want to go ahead and have this laid out and at least be rocking the same harmonics as him. So let's go ahead and just turn up uh, the octave up to. Okay, that sounds decently harmonic. Now let's listen to the original. And let's play this. Whoops. Okay. It sounds harmonic, right? Like it's there, but it's a little bit different of a tune. So what do we have to do? We gotta turn up the semitones up seven. And this is a nice little trick because, uh, you know, for whatever reason, when you do this, it really just makes an amazing resonant sound. And specifically, when we're when we're using this setup, a square to a, actually, let's change this to a saw. So go to your basic shapes and change it to the regular saw. Uh, when we run this setup, it's fucking insane for the harmonics and our ears simply love it. So go ahead, but just by simply turning up the semitones up seven, we just have an amazing, an amazing uh, resonant structure here. And it just sounds awesome. Nothing too technical there. Okay, I don't understand exactly why it sounds so awesome. Just understand that it does. And so in your music, apply it. Now go ahead and take our LFO and put that onto FM from B. Start giving it a little bit of movement. And now we gotta filter this biatch. Turn on the filter and uh, let's change it to a low pass 24. There we go, MG low 24. Now, this is when things get fun. We go ahead and turn down the cutoff and we just make a simple wobble. Just like we're in the, it's like we're in, you know, fucking 2011 and we're making wobbles again. So, boom, boom, boom. Turn on that resonance. Actually, we gotta turn up that. All right, that's good, that's good. And now here's a little a little teaser. We can take this LFO number one, put it on the mix, and just turn it down like hardly past, you know, just right before one. And you can't hear much now, but when we turn on the multiband compressor, what's gonna happen is um, the multiband is going to hear that little bit of uh, dry oscillator, uh, 
dry sound from these oscillators peering through and not the filtered one and it's going to start compensating for that and increasing the volume of that. So we just want to turn it down just a little bit or you know just a little extra pizzazz to the sound, okay? Anyway, we'll turn on this multi-band compressor. Put this on trigger by the way. Okay, and I'm just gonna... Bingo, bingo. Okay, I'm sorry guys. Uh, back into the effects. Okay, so we have the multiband compressor, but before that we actually want to turn on a little bit of distortion. Because the thing about these, these harmonic sounds is they sound great and everything, but they sound even more ridiculous when we turn on distortion. So go ahead and turn up that drive a little bit. And then just turn on the mix, pad, just so we have a little bit of the dry sounding through as well. Okay, and let's just shape the LFO just a tad bit, because if we hear the original, we can hear there's a little bit more room. It's not just like, wow, it's like, wow. You know, like there's, there's a little bit room here. So uh, we can also turn up this LFO ending points to like, so we're not going all the way down. And then additionally, we could just turn on the hyper, you know, give it a little bit more room. And of course, dimension, we go low size, like 2%, 1%, and a high mix, of course. That way we expand the sound just beautifully. And we could also hit it with some reverb. And uh, let me just turn off the OG layer, or I mean, the, the, the background music. So as you can hear, we're spot on, but there's this weird, gross, like low frequency thing that just sounds off in the background. And that's because, you know, we're running frequency modulation and stuff and we turn up the semitones plus seven and now there's just some gross, I don't know, frequencies in the background that we, we don't want. And they are in the low end, which makes it amazingly easy to cancel it out. So just go ahead and turn on the EQ, turn on the, the low cut and just turn on that Q factor so we're not peaking anything. And uh, yeah, we just <laughs> move the, the frequencies up a little bit. And just like that, we took care of them. <laughs> Pretty solid, right? Now, obviously that's not all. And all we have to do is go ahead and duplicate this layer. And this is how we make the background bass. We literally just take this octave and turn it down. Is that what I did? I think I turned it down either. I can't remember if I did one or two octaves. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I turned it down, back down to zero. So down two octaves, we're no longer plus two, we're just zero. And then we layer these two together. Perfect. And then finally, we could just throw in a little bit of effects by just going in and duplicating it again. Then going into the noise, right? Going to initialize the preset. Um, just going into the noise. Alpha noise is my favorite. Alpha male vibes from the noise. Can't complain. <laughs> just joking. Um, anyway, that did not make sense. It, so, go. Boom, just like that. Um, actually, don't do that. Uh, turn up the level a little bit. And then we can just put that in the background a little bit. And just like that, folks, that's how we recreated the drop. You know, I love how simple we're going back to, we're going back to the olden days, making songs that aren't just, you know, some ridiculous sound design. They actually have some emotion to them. They actually have some structure, right? Well, it's not that they didn't have structure, right? But like, I'll be honest with you, I'm more into the melodic stuff now, okay? I'm, I'm not so much about just crazy fucking sounds. I, I, I like it when the song just simply speaks to you. And this is what they're doing. This is the direction that Excision's going in and everything, and I fucking love it. Can't support it enough. But anyway, if you guys want to start going that direction as well, highly encourage you to hop on the early access list for the brand new pack. It's called Legends. Help you become a legendary producer. I literally can't wait uh, for you to get your hands on this thing, but uh, more information on that is in the description below. That's, what, that's not what this video is about. This is about sound design. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever around the sound or anything, just drop in the comments down below. And if you like this video, just it would really help me just for the algorithm. Let me know if you click that like button. That way more people, more producers can see this video. That's it, folks. This is Shane from Rocky Powered Sound. Catch you very soon. Peace out.